Um, okay. Okay, I can start now. Yep. So thank you very much for giving me opportunity to share uh, my experience about Bangkok. Uh, this presentation is based on my former uh, master tuition students. It's a master uh, thesis uh, work. So I would like to start with you know, looking at Bangkok in a very different perspective. This is uh, Bangkok, uh, the recent Bangkok, uh, the result of uh, uh, urbanization in the past uh, 20 years. And uh, look at the closer look. So you can see that uh, the mixing between, uh, you know, amongst uh, modern high rise buildings, uh, the old low rise communities and uh, spotty green uh, dot over the place. So this is a, uh, in uh, the situation in the inner city. But when you go, you know, further, outside Bangkok along a peri-urban area. So you can see uh, mixing between land developments, which uh, can be uh, housing development, uh, industrial estate uh, development with uh, surrounded by uh, farmlands. And uh, this is uh, 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 the premise of uh, this study. So looking at uh, urban vegetation, you know, and look at uh, its spatial structure and spatial patterns and its ecological functions. And looking at uh, the understanding of these uh, patterns and function, how we use this understanding to improve urban environmental quality and the quality of light. And this is uh, the basic that uh, uh, a previous presentations already explained about the benefit of trees in terms of uh, uh, surface temperature. So we're looking at uh, uh, landscape classification into uh, three, three categories. The first one is uh, vegetation uh, categories, which is uh, divided in two subcategory trees, shrub and ground covers. The second one is uh, water bodies. The third one is build up area and bare soil. And uh, looking at the effect of different surface on surface temperature, you know, different uh, building materials, trees and uh, water bodies. So you can see you know, the heat uh, characteristic of these different. And uh, we look at uh, the Bangkok metropolitan regions and then we select uh, uh, is a study sub areas. So uh, the first group is mainly in the, the urban area, which is you know, more uh, built, uh, 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 built area. And uh, the second one is, and uh, the second group is in uh, the peri urban area. It would be more farmland and then some built. And then the third one, we looking at the area with uh, a very large uh, uh, water bodies. So this is, uh, you know, when looking at uh, the each area, and then we are uh, looking at uh, uh, the ratio of uh, the green and non-green area, you know, the green and uh, don't pin. So we're looking at, uh, you know, uh, uh, in terms of uh, the same ratio, you know, half-half, uh, and then look at the different pattern, for example, very large patch and then medium patch and then small patch but highly distribute uh, throughout the landscape. And uh, this is our, the, the base of our uh, land classification. So we look at, at uh, normalize different vegetation index and uh, modify normalize uh, different water index uh, to uh, classify our land cover. And then this is what we looking at uh, the land cover classification and characterization. And uh, you know the combination of three shrubs, uh, waters, uh, build up and bare soil, and then uh, the land cover ratio in different. You know the first one would be more urbanized area, so the build up area is majority, and then second one, the second group, is in uh, uh, the peri urban area, which is more of, uh, uh, farmlands. So you can see that the higher ratio of the farmlands, and then less build up. And then the third group is uh, with the uh, very large uh, water bodies. It's a Chao Phya uh, rivers. So this is what we are uh, you know, based on our analysis. And looking at uh, the land surface temperature maps, you know, the bias temperature value, and then uh, convert into uh, the land surface temperature maps of the study area. So we uh, overlay together. So this is what the characteristic of each uh, uh, land cover trites, you know, trees, uh, shrubs, and ground cover, water, and uh, built, and uh, bare soil in each group. So this is the first one, which is a uh, highly urbanized area. 
the second group, which is more uh, farmland area, so the characteristic and the range of temperature of each uh, cover types. And uh, this is uh, the third group, which are very large uh, body of water, uh, Jabia River. And then uh, the left one, we have uh, the Bangkajau area, which is a green. So you can see the very green patch, large green patch. Uh, and, and then so, and then this is we're looking at, uh, you know, a very, uh, the effect of uh, the large patch of the build up and uh, the green areas. Uh, you know, this is uh, the big park and then uh, the large uh, train station, the Bangs, Bangs train station, looking at the pattern of uh, the green uh, patterns and uh, the temperature patterns. And then when we uh, look at uh, as a land unit, look at uh, the temperature, the, the surface temperature characteristic, the range, uh, the maximum, uh, the means, and then uh, the minimum of uh, in the three groups. And the first group uh, is uh, the area which are more urbanized area. And then the second group is uh, more a farmland area. And then the third group is a. Uh, 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 the large water body. So you can see a different range, uh, min and max, uh, and uh, the, the range of temperature as a, a landscape unit. And then we're looking at, you know, what the difference, you know, the wider range are very high, very low in a highly urban area. And then when you have a very uh, small pass or distribute over, you can see that the, the lower, uh, high, highest temperature, the range is uh, uh, much uh, narrower. And then also in the, uh, uh, the area with the, the large uh, water bodies. So this is what, you know, uh, the, the, uh, a small experiment try to understand, uh, you know, the pattern, the landscape. So we're not looking at just only uh, a single trees, which is, uh, is a um, well understand about the effect of trees uh, to look at, uh, how trees can reduce uh, uh, the surface temperature. So, it, so in this form, our uh, uh, conceptualize the pattern. So, you know, so we come to what the conclusion of these uh, small experiments. Uh, each pattern has its own um, benefit. The urban vegetation patch benefit urban areas in reducing land surface temperature. Consequently, the increase of vegetation area. Uh, green infrastructure, either pattern A, B, and C is necessary to decrease land surface temperature. So, you know, you can look at, you know, really large pads or the small pads. So, you know, uh, more or less, they do have uh, the impact on reducing uh, the surface temperature. So we try to uh, look at uh, these kind of a different uh, patterns and to see, you know, can we, you know, from the understanding, we try to look at how can we apply that the idea so we look at you know uh, the already existing regulation, you know the FAR, and then we looking at uh, the green coverage uh, uh, ratio, you know which is the new one that we try to think about how can we uh, uh, apply all these. So you add more uh, a tree coverage in the different uh, proportion uh, in your plot area, and these uh, uh, the picture is uh, uh, my student try to simulate of what you know these application can apply in terms of you know looking at how would we uh, reduce the surface temperature. And uh, this is my uh, presentation about what you know happening in uh, in Bangkok. Thank you very much. <laughs>